Edible Wild Mushroom Cooking Methods 4. The Golden Needle Mushroom is named after its slender stalk, which resembles the Golden Needle Mushroom. It belongs to the genus of Golden Needle Mushroom in the family Tricholoma of the order Agricules, and is a type of lichen with high medicinal and therapeutic effects. Widely distributed in nature, including China, Japan, Russia, Europe, North America, Australia, and other places. In China, it is suitable for the growth of Flamulina velotypes, starting from Heilongjiang in the north, Yunnan in the south, Jiangsu in the east, and Xinjiang in the west. Cooking Method 1. Cold Mixed Golden Needle Mushroom Ingredients to be prepared Flamulina velotypes, garlic, scallions, white sugar, oyster sauce, delicious taste, salt. Specific Approach Step 1. Cut off the root of the golden needle mushroom, clean it thoroughly, add water to the pot, bring to a boil, pour in the golden needle mushroom, blanch for about 3 minutes, and it will be cooked. Step 2. When you see that the golden needle mushrooms have all spread and become soft, it is ripe. After blanching, remove them and let them cool. Squeeze out the water and put them into a plate. Step 3. Cut an appropriate amount of scallions and garlic, start adding seasoning, sprinkle with scallions, garlic, chili powder, add an appropriate amount of oyster sauce, delicious taste, salt, and sugar, and add seasoning according to your preferences. Step 4. Start the pot and add a small amount of oil. Heat it up and turn off the heat. Pour the oil evenly on the golden needle mushroom while it is hot accompanied by a sizzling sound and a pungent aroma. Step 5. Stir well with chopsticks, and a plate of appetizing and refreshing cold fried mushrooms will be ready. It's spicy and appeti appetizing, super appetizing, and even more satisfying than eating cold pickled cucumbers. Hurry up and give it a try. 2. Chopped pepper and golden needle mushroom. The prepared ingredients include golden needle mushroom, light soy sauce, sugar, chopped peppers, chopped scallions, and edible oil. Firstly, remove the roots, wash, and tear the golden needle mushroom into strips. After controlling the moisture, place it in a clean plate. Add the mushrooms to the pot and bring to a boil. Place them in the pot and steam over high heat for 5 to 6 minutes. Prepare light soy sauce and white sugar to pour into a bowl and stir well. A little white sugar is enough. After steaming the golden needle mushroom, turn off the heat, and pour the prepared juice onto the golden needle mushroom. Cover and simmer for 2 minutes. Then sprinkle some chopped peppers and scallions, heat some oil in the pot, and pour it on top of the golden mushroom. 3. Fried Golden Needle Mushroom The ingredients used here are green pepper, carrots, golden mushroom, oil, and salt. The ingredients used are quite simple. If you like, you can use some seasoning according to your own taste. Firstly, prepare all the necessary ingredients, shred the carrots and green peppers, wash and tear the golden needle mushrooms into strips. Prepare a frying pan and add oil. Put the carrots in and stir-fry. When the red oil is stir-fried, put the golden needle mushrooms in the pan and stir-fry until they become soft. Then add an appropriate amount of edible salt and stir-fry evenly. This is a nutritious, delicious, and beautiful food. For Golden Needle Mushroom Dumplings The method is also very simple, just like other dumplings we make. First, prepare the meat filling, then wash and chop the Golden Needle Mushroom, and add it to the meat filling. Stir evenly and wrap it into dumplings. Cook it until it's done. The taste is super delicious, have you tried it? Of course, it can also be made into vegetarian filling. Most of the agaric in China are from Northeast China and Qinling Mountains, which can be both wild and artificially cultivated. The seed body is ear-shaped, leaf-shaped, or cup-shaped, thin, with wavy edges, 3 to 10 centimeters wide and about 2 millimeters thick. It is fixed to the substrate with a short stalk or narrow attachment. The color is black-brown, the texture is soft and gelatinous, thin and elastic, semi-transparent when wet, and becomes brittle and hard when dry. The keratin is similar to leather. Artificial agaric is also very thick, while wild agaric is relatively thin, and some even appear in large shapes. Cooking method 1. Cold mixed fungus Wash and cut the coriander into small pieces, shred red chili peppers, soak dried agaric in water, and then remove and wash thoroughly. Add water to the pot and bring it to a boil. 
After a while, cool the water and mix the soy sauce, vinegar, salt, sugar, and sesame oil into a seasoning. Set aside. Place coriander, red chili, and black fungus in a container, pour in the seasoning, and mix well. It's well. Two fish flavored shredded pork. Wash and shred the lean meat, add salt, cooking wine, and starch, stir well, and marinate for a moment. Cut the carrots, black fungus, green pepper, and other ingredients into thin slices. Add an appropriate amount of water to the pot and bring to a boil. Add carrots and black fungus to the water until they are cut off. Remove and drain slightly. Heat an appropriate amount of oil in the pot, add shredded meat, and stir-fry until discolored. Add chopped ginger, garlic, and scallions and stir until fragrant. Add pickled peppers and pichian bean paste and stir-fry until red oil is produced. Next, add chopped carrots and black fungus shreds and mix in the sauce that was just mixed. Stir well. Add shredded green chili peppers and stir-fry evenly. Finally, use an appropriate amount of water starch to thicken the sauce, turn off the heat, and add a little chicken essence to taste. 3 Fried Eggs with Black Fungus Soak the dried agaric in water and wash it thoroughly. Wash and cut the scallions in green and red chili peppers into sections. Break up the eggs, put an appropriate amount of oil in the pot, heat it up, pour in the eggs, stir-fry until cooked, and then dish out for later use. Add a small amount of oil to the pot, add scallions, red chili peppers, and stir-fry until fragrant. Pour in agaric and stir-fry, add eggs, green and red peppers, stir-fry for a moment, add salt, and season with chicken essence. For black fungus and egg soup. Wash and dice the tomatoes, wash the shrimp, wash the scallions, ginger, and dice. Knock the eggs into a bowl. Put an appropriate amount of water in the pot, add scallions, ginger, diced tomatoes, and agaric, and bring to a boil over high heat. Add shrimp and cooking wine, simmer for a while, pour in beaten egg mixture, and season with salt, coriander, sesame oil, and chicken essence to remove from the pot. 5. Black Fungus Sparrow Soup Rinse dry black fungus with water, soak in warm water for hair, wash potatoes, and soak in clean water for later use. After chopping and washing the pork ribs, blanch off the blood and water for later use. Bring all the ingredients to a boil over high heat, then turn to low heat, and simmer slowly until the meat is tender and the soup has a strong aroma. Add an appropriate amount of salt to taste before cooking. Tremella belongs to the genus Tremella in the family Tremeliaceae, and is the fruiting body of the fungus Tremella in the phylum Basidiomycota. It is known as the crown of fungi. The fruiting body is pure white to milky white, with a diameter of 5 to 10 centimeters, soft and pure white, semi-transparent and elastic. It not only has the effect of tonifying the spleen and appetizing, but also has the effects of nourishing qi, clearing the intestines, nourishing yin, and moistening the lungs. It can not only enhance the human immune system, but also enhance the tolerance of tumor patients to radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Tremella fusiformis is rich in natural plant-based glia and has a nourishing effect on yin. It is a good moisturizing food that can be taken for a long time. Cooking method. One lotus seed, white fungus, and barley soup. Job's tears broth of white fungus has the effect of eliminating edema, benefiting the intestines and stomach, clearing heat, and moistening dryness, so that the baby is more moist. Ingredients required for the recipe. 100 grams of barley lotus seeds, two pieces of white fungus, 50 grams of goji berries, an appropriate amount of rock sugar, and an appropriate amount of water. Step. 1. Rinse the roots of Job's Tears and Tremella, and soak them in clean water. 2. 2. Pour Job's Tears, Lotus Seeds and White Fungus into the pressure cooker, add proper amount of water, wait for the pressure cooker to be aerated, and then compress it for 35 minutes. 3. Add washed goji berries to the pressed soup and simmer for a while. 4. Add an appropriate amount of rock sugar, wait for the rock sugar to melt, and the soup will thicken slightly before serving out. Tip. Job's tears not only contain high protein content of about 12.8%, but also rich in vitamin B group, minerals, dietary fiber, etc. After precision processing, the endosperm of Job's tears contains about three times the amount of food fiber that modern people lack, and more than twice the amount of high-quality protein that refined rice does. Job's tears is a nutritionally balanced grain that contains eight essential amino acids for the human body, 
and its proportion is close to what the human body needs. Efficacy of this recipe, Job's Tears Broth of White Fungus Soup has the effects of eliminating edema, improving gastrointestinal function, clearing away heat and moistening dryness, and can also make the skin more white and moist, smooth and less wrinkled, and make the baby more moist. 2 Cranberry and Tremella Peach Gel Soup These ingredients are all excellent for beauty and moisturizing, making a silver fungus cranberry peach gum soup. After nearly an hour of slow stewing, it becomes very sticky, sour and sweet, and has a smooth and tender taste. Ingredients required for the recipe 1 Tremella, 40 g dried cranberries, an appropriate amount of rock sugar, 5 g peach gum, and an appropriate amount of water. Step 1. Soak peach gum overnight in advance, soak white fungus in advance, and rinse dried cranberries with water once. 2. Put water in the pot, add white fungus and peach gum and simmer over high heat. After boiling over high heat, turn to low heat and slowly simmer until thick. 3. Add dried cranberries and rock sugar and continue to simmer until the rock sugar melts. Tip, tip. Tremella is a weight loss food containing dietary fiber, which can aid in gastrointestinal peristalsis and reduce fat absorption. The white color of dried tremella is smoked and bleached with sulfur. Only fresh or soaked tremella is white, and the normal color after drying or drying is golden yellow. The efficacy of this recipe, tremella has a rich nutritional content, which includes protein, fat, and various amino acids and minerals. It is recommended to eat more. 3. Tremella, Goji Berry, and Pear Syrup Tremella, with a mild and non-toxic nature, not only has the effects of tonifying the spleen and appetizing, but also has the effects of nourishing qi and clearing the intestines. It can also nourish yin and moisten the lungs. It is also rich in natural plant-based glia and has the effect of nourishing yin. It is a good moisturizing food that can be taken for a long time. Boil a bowl of ice sugar water with sydney and goji berries. Ingredients required for the recipe. 1 tremella, 1 sydney, one large piece of old rock sugar, one small handful of goji berries, and an appropriate amount of water. Step 1. Soak the white fungus in warm water for about half an hour in advance. 2. Peel and slice sydney. 3. Put them together in a pot, pour in an appropriate amount of water, boil and turn to low heat for about one hour. 4. Finally, add goji berries and rock sugar and cook for two to three minutes. Tip Tremella fusiformis is rich in natural colloidal properties, combined with its nourishing effect on yin. Long-term use can moisturize the skin and have the effect of removing facial melasma and freckles. High-quality qu tremella has large and loose ear flowers, thick ear flesh, white or slightly yellow color, no black spots or impurities on the stem, and a round and beautiful flower shape. The efficacy of this recipe, tremella has a sweet, light, mild, and non-toxic taste. It not only has the effects of tonifying the spleen and appetizing, but also has the effects of nourishing qi, clearing the intestines, nourishing yin, and moistening the lungs. It can not only enhance the human immune system, but also enhance the tolerance of tumor patients to radiotherapy and chemotherapy. For papaya broth of white fungus soup. Papaya has a high level of vitamins, which is beneficial for improving immunity and has a strong lactation effect, making it suitable for new mothers who love beauty after childbirth. Ingredients required for the recipe Half a papaya, 1 tremella, 25 g goji berries, 50 g rock sugar Step 1. Cut the papaya in half and set aside. Peel and seed papaya, cut into pieces, tear white fungus into small pieces, and prepare all the ingredients. 2. Soak tremella and goji berries in cold water for about 30 minutes. 3. Put an appropriate amount of water into the pot, bring to a boil, turn to low heat, add white fungus and rock sugar, and cook for about 30 minutes. 4. Add papaya and goji berries and simmer for another 5 minutes, then turn off the heat. Tip It's best not to choose papayas that are too ripe. Green skin papayas are the best because green skin papayas have the best cosmetic and breast enhancement effects. White fungus needs to be cooked first. If you like to eat soft and rotten, cook the white fungus until it is almost melted and becomes softer and more glutinous. Papaya and goji berries should be left at the end and boiled for a few minutes, as nutrition will be lost over time. 
adding some, some dates and lilies is also good, as it suits your taste. Apricot mushroom is named after its aroma of almonds and the rich taste of mushroom-like abalone. It is a new rare edible mushroom variety that has been successfully developed and cultivated in recent years, integrating edible, medicinal, and therapeutic purposes. There are quite a few products of Pleurota syringii on the market, such as the Beishanzu mushroom side dish, Pleurota syringii, Pleurota syringii extract, ready-to-eat small packaging of Pleurota syringii, and independent packaging of small packages of Pleurota syringii. Cooking method. First course, fish-flavored apricot abalone mushroom. Using the method of making fish-flavored shredded meat to make apricot mushrooms, the taste is really excellent. Like fish-flavored shredded meat, this dish has the characteristics of being salty, sweet, sour, spicy, fresh, and fragrant. The taste is more crispy, tender, and smooth than shredded meat, making it particularly appetizing and palatable. Eliminating the step of stir-frying shredded meat makes the production much simpler. So, this dish is definitely a convenient and delicious dish on our usual family dining table. Specific Production Methods Step 1. Prepare Ingredients 2 apricot mushrooms, an appropriate amount of carrots, 1 sharp pepper, an appropriate amount of dried agaric, and an appropriate amount of scallions, ginger, and garlic. Step 2. Shred apricot mushrooms, carrots, peppercorns, soak black fungus, and chop scallions, ginger, and garlic. Set aside. Step 3. Take a clean small bowl, then add an appropriate amount of starch, half a spoonful of salt, half a spoonful of chicken essence, essence, two spoonfuls of soy sauce, three spoonfuls of sugar, four spoonfuls of vinegar, and pour some water into it. Mix it into a bowl of juice and set aside. Step 4. Pour an appropriate amount of oil into the pot, heat up the oil, and add one spoonful of pichian de bon sauce, and one spoonful of chopped chili peppers to stir-fry until red oil is produced. Step 5. Add scallions, ginger, and garlic to the pot and stir-fry until fragrant. Step 6. Stir-fry the apricot mushrooms and shredded carrots in a pot for one minute. Step 7. Put the agaric into the pot and stir-fry for one minute. Step 8. Put the shredded chili peppers into the pot and stir-fry for 30 seconds. Step 9. Pour the bowl juice into the pot, bring to a boil, stir well, and serve on a plate. Second course, chopped pepper and apricot mushroom. If you don't want to put in too much effort and want to have an appetizer, then make the spicy apricot mushroom dish. This is a vegetable stir-fry that is even more fragrant than meat. Stir-fried apricot mushrooms like this are fragrant and spicy, and the more you eat, the more you want to eat them. The production method is also very simple, it can be done in just over 10 minutes, making it perfect for summer. Specific Production Methods Step 1. Prepare Ingredients 3 pieces of apricot mushrooms, chopped chili peppers, garlic, scallions, and cooked white sesame seeds. Step 2. Slice the apricot mushrooms, as shown in the picture. Cut garlic and scallions finely and set aside. Step 3. Pour an appropriate amount of water into the pot and bring to a boil. Put the apricot mushrooms in the pot and blanch for one minute, then remove and place in cold water. Step 4. Pour a little oil into the pot, heat up the oil, and then put the chopped peppers into the pot over low heat to stir-fry until red oil is produced. Step 5. Put the garlic into the pot and stir-fry until fragrant, then add half a spoonful of soy sauce, one spoonful of light soy sauce, and one spoonful of sugar to the pot and stir-fry evenly. Step 6. Drain the apricot mushroom and put it into a pot, then turn it on high heat and quickly stir-fry evenly. Step 7. Add a little chicken essence and stir-fry evenly, then turn off the heat. Drizzle a little sesame oil, then sprinkle with white sesame and chopped scallions. Step 8. Mount the tray and serve it on the table. Say a few more words. 1. Apricot mushrooms can be blanched without boiling and stir-fried with oil for a better taste. 2. Cut the amount of chili peppers according to your taste. 3. Chopping chili peppers and light soy sauce both have a salty taste, so there is no need to add salt. Third course, Gong Bao Xing Bao Mushroom. Kung Pao Chicken is a well-known Sichuan dish. The chicken has been replaced with apricot mushrooms below, which makes the taste more fresh, tender, and smooth, adding a lot of color to the entire dish. It is a super homely dish to serve. Specific Production Methods
Step 1. Prepare ingredients. 2 pieces of apricot mushrooms, 60 g of peanuts, 2 pieces of scallions, a small piece of ginger, over a dozen Chinese prickly peppers, and a few dried chili peppers. Step 2. Cut the apricot mushroom into small pieces, chopped with scallions, sliced with dried chili peppers, and sliced with ginger for later use. Step 3. Put the peanuts into a pot, add a small amount of oil, and fry over low heat until mature. Step 4. Use two spoonfuls of cornstarch, one spoonful of salt, four spoonfuls of sugar, three spoonfuls of vinegar, two spoonfuls of soy sauce, one spoonful of chicken essence, and mix into a sauce for later use. Step 5. Pour an appropriate amount of water into the pot, boil the water, blanch apricot mushrooms for one minute, then remove and set aside. Step 6. Pour a little oil into the pot, then stir-fry the chili peppers, dried chili peppers, and ginger slices in the pot until fragrant. Step 7. Stir-fry the apricot mushrooms in a pot until well combined. Step 8. Put the scallions into the pot and stir-fry evenly. Step 9. Pour the prepared juice into the pot and bring to a boil. Step 10. Pour the peanut kernels into the pot. Step 11. Stir-fry evenly and drizzle with a little sesame oil to remove from the pot. Tip. 1. It's best to choose tender scallions as they are more delicious. 2. Finally, add peanut kernels for a more crispy taste. Fourth course, pan-fried apricot abalone mushroom. There are many ways to make apricot mushroom. Below, I recommend a super fat and delicious way to eat it, which is even more fragrant than meat and very delicious. The production is also simple, and those who like it must give it a try. Specific production methods. Step 1. Prepare ingredients. 2 pieces of apricot mushrooms, a little garlic, a little red chili, and a little scallion. Step 2. Clean the apricot mushroom thoroughly, dry it and cut it into large pieces with a thickness of 0.5 cm. Then, cut some cross-shaped knives on the surface without cutting them off. Draw some cross-shaped knives on the surface to make it more flavorful. Step 3. Cut garlic, red chili peppers, and scallions into small pieces and set aside. Step 4. Take an empty bowl and add one spoonful of oyster sauce, one spoonful of soy sauce, half a spoonful of salt, a little chicken essence, a little white sugar, and one spoonful of starch. Mix an appropriate amount of water into a bowl of juice and set aside. You can skip oyster sauce without it. Step 5. Pour a little oil into the pot, heat up the oil, and then put the apricot mushrooms into the pot. Start frying over low heat. Step 6. Fry until the apricot mushrooms become soft, roll up the edges and corners, and the surface is slightly yellow and ripe, ripe. Apricot abalone mushrooms can't be cooked all at once, you can fry them multiple times. Step 7. After frying all the apricot mushrooms, put them into a pot, then add garlic and chili peppers, stir fry until fragrant. Friends who cannot eat spicy food can skip chili peppers. Step 8. Pour the bowl juice into the pot and bring to a boil. Let each piece of apricot mushroom be soaked in the soup, and finally sprinkle a little chopped scallion. Turn off the heat and serve. Say a few more words. If you like to eat black pepper flavor, you can also sprinkle some crushed black pepper when frying apricot mushrooms for a better taste. Fifth course, boiled mushrooms in water. This dish is made by boiling meat slices in water. Replacing the meat slices with mushrooms provides a better and healthier taste. It is especially suitable for people who want to maintain weight, but also want to have a mouth addiction. The double mushrooms blend with the bright red soup, crispy and smooth, with a rich spicy flavor. It is definitely the first choice for dining. Specific working means. Step 1. Prepare ingredients. Ingredients. 1 bag of white jade mushrooms, 1 piece of apricot mushroom, and 1 piece of lettuce. Ingredients. 1 tablespoon of bean paste, a few cloves of garlic, and a few dried chili peppers. Step 2. Wash the white jade mushroom and cut it into two sections. Tear the apricot mushroom into strips by hand. Tear the lettuce into small pieces. Cut garlic into mince and dry chili peppers into segments. Step 3. Put the torn lettuce into a bowl. Step 4. Add base oil to the pot, heat up the oil, add bean paste, stir-fry over low heat to create red oil. Then add dried chili peppers and chopped garlic. 
Continue to stir fry until fragrant. Step 5. Add high soup or hot water to the pot. Step 6. Put the white jade mushrooms and apricot mushrooms into the pot. The fire is burning. Step 7. Add a little chicken essence before cooking. Then turn off the heat and pour the mushrooms and soup into a bowl. Step 8. Add a small spoonful of dried chili powder and a small spoonful of garlic to the bowl. Step 9. Start a new pot and pour in a little oil. When the oil burns until there is smoke, turn off the fire. Pour the oil onto the garlic and chili powder in the bowl, and you can immediately smell the garlic aroma and spicy taste. In this way, the next meal is ready. Tip 1. Dubon sauce has a salty taste, so there is no need to add any more salt. 2. For those who like the aroma of sesame, you can add a little pepper in the last step. 6th course, oyster sauce and apricot mushroom. This is a very delicious kwai stir-fry. It is easy to make and has no difficulty. It tastes delicious and delicious. Specific production methods. Step 1. Prepare ingredients. 2 apricot mushrooms, 1 green pepper, 1 carrot, and an appropriate amount of garlic. Step 2. Cut the apricot mushroom into pieces, carrot into pieces, green pepper into pieces, and garlic slices for later use. Step 3. Pour an appropriate amount of oil into the pot, heat up the oil, and stir-fry the carrots in the pot for 2 to 3 minutes. Carrots are the least likely to ripen in this dish, so stir-fry the carrots first. Step 4. Stir-fry the apricot mushrooms in a pot for 1 minute. Step 5. Put the garlic slices into the pot and stir-fry until fragrant. Step 6. Seasoning. Add 2 spoons of oyster sauce, 2 spoons of light soy sauce, 1 spoonful of sugar, and half a spoonful of salt. Stir-fry well. Oyster sauce and soy sauce both have a salty taste, so be careful when adding salt again. Step 7. Put the green peppers into the pot and stir-fry well. Step, step 8. Drizzle a little sesame oil before cooking. Agaricus bisporus is one of the most common types of edible mushrooms with thick meat. The mycelium is silver white with a medium to fast growth rate and is not easy to form a fungal cover. The fruiting body is mostly solitary, round, white, and without scales. The high feet are thick and not easy to open umbrellas. The stipe is thicker and shorter with white flesh and solid tissue. There is a semi-membranous fungal ring on the stipe, and the spores are silver-brown. Born in Europe and North America, humans have been consuming it since at least ancient Greek times, while artificial cultivation began around 17th century France and other places. It is now widely cultivated around the world. Cooking Method 1. Stir-fried pork belly with bisporous mushrooms 1. First, clean the agaricus bisporous thoroughly, remove any impurities on the surface, and then soak it in clean water for about 10 minutes. Then, control the moisture and cut it into thicker slices for later use. 2. Wash the scallions, ginger, and garlic thoroughly, cut them into slices of scallions, garlic, and shredded ginger. Wash the pork belly thoroughly and cut it into slices of meat. 3. Add an appropriate amount of peanut oil to the pot, wait until the oil is hot, then add pork belly and stir-fry until the oil comes out. Then add scallions and garlic, stir-fry over high heat to create a fragrant aroma, and add cooking wine. Then put the mushroom slices into the pot and stir-fry until the mushrooms change color. 4. Add an appropriate amount of oil and salt to the pot and stir-fry. At this time, a lot of soup will be produced. At this time, add an appropriate amount of starch to thicken the soup. After the soup is thick, a few drops of sesame oil can be dropped out of the, the pot. 2. Fried duck meat with mushrooms. 1. Prepare the duck breast, wash it thoroughly, cut it into thin slices, and add it to 10,000 li. Add scallions, ginger, garlic, edible salt, cooking wine, and a small amount of peanut oil to marinate for half an hour. Wash the agaricus by spores thoroughly, cut it into slices, and cut an appropriate amount of peppercorns into filaments. Agaricus by sporus. 2. Add oil to the pot, heat up the oil, add duck meat and stir-fry. Wait until the duck meat is about 80% cooked, then add mushrooms and stir-fry together. Note that the duck meat has already been marinated, so you can stir-fry without adding any seasoning. After 10 minutes, add an appropriate amount of water to the pot, 
and stir fry for another 3 minutes to get out of the pot. 3 Fried Mushrooms with Vegetables 1. Clean an appropriate amount of mushrooms, then remove the sand on the surface. Add an appropriate amount of water to the pot and boil it. Add mushrooms to blanch for 1 minute, and they can be taken out and put into cold water. 2. After the mushrooms have cooled down, remove them and drain the water. Then cut them into thicker slices, wash them with an appropriate amount of scallions, ginger, and garlic, and cut them into scallions and garlic slices. 3. Add a small amount of cooking oil to the pot, wait until the oil is hot, then add scallions and garlic to the pot and stir-fry until fragrant. Then add mushrooms and stir-fry. Add an appropriate amount of edible salt to the pot and continue to stir-fry. Then turn off the heat and add the edible salt and stir well. Friends, friends who love eggs can also stir-fry some eggs and add them to the pot when the mushrooms are about to be cooked. This way, the nutritional supplement is more comprehensive and is a good choice. The fruiting body of red mushrooms is generally medium in size, with a cap diameter of 5 to 12 centimeters. It is initially flattened and hemispherical, then flattened, sticky when young, dull or velvety, with a central color of deep red to dark, black, red, and a lighter edge of deep red. Fine horizontal lines are common on the cap edge. Mushroom flesh is white, thick, and often eaten by insects. Good taste and odor. The bacterial folds are white and turn milky yellow when they age. They may appear reddish near the edge of the cap, slightly dense to sparse, often forked, and have transverse veins between the folds. Cooking method. 1. Stewed spare ribs with red mushrooms. 1. Wild red mushrooms can be stewed with pork ribs. When making, 100 g of wild red mushrooms and 400 g of pork ribs need to be prepared. Chop the pork ribs into pieces and wash them with clean water. Then, heat them in a pot with appropriate amount of water and bring them to a boil. Blanch the pork ribs in the pot, remove the blood, and take them out and place them in a soup pot. 2. Use scissors to cut off the small portion of the prepared wild red mushroom with the picture, then rinse it thoroughly with water. Also, add sufficient water to the soup pot, and then add an appropriate amount of yam and scallion ginger. After covering the pot, Bring it to a boil over high heat and simmer over medium to low heat for two hours. Add an appropriate amount of salt before serving, seasoning, and then serve. 2. Red Mushroom and Pig Heart Soup 1. Soak the dried red mushrooms in water first and set aside. 2. Cut pig heart into pieces and set aside. 3. Cut ginger into slices and stir-fry in hot oil in a pot. 4. 4. Add pork heart and stir-fry. Add an appropriate amount of salt and cooking wine to stir-fry until fragrant, then add soaked red mushrooms, add an appropriate amount of water, and bring to a boil. 5. Pour into a clay pot and simmer for 30 minutes. The size and morphology of Ganoderma lucidum vary greatly, with a cap of 20 for large individuals times 10 cm, approximately 2 cm thick, generally for individuals times 3 cm, 0.5 to 1 cm thick, with numerous small pores below. The opening is white or light brown, with 4 to 5 per millimeter. The opening is circular, with an inner wall of the fruiting layer. Spores are produced at the top of the basidium. The stipe is lateral, rarely lateral, longer than the diameter of the cap, purple-brown to black, with a lacquer-like luster and hardness. Spores ovoid, 8 to 11 times 7 centimeters, with two walls, brown inner wall, small warts on the surface, and transparent and colorless outer wall. Cooking method. The efficacy of Ganoderma lucidum is very powerful, and the consumption methods of Ganoderma lucidum are also quite diverse. Red Ganoderma lucidum and purple Ganoderma lucidum are eaten in the same way. Common methods of eating Ganoderma lucidum include soaking in water, boiling water, soaking in wine, and making soup. So, for different populations, how can Ganoderma lucidum be eaten with the best effect? Next, this article will provide a detailed introduction to the correct eating method and dosage of Ganoderma lucidum. How to eat Ganoderma lucidum Ganoderma lucidum boiling water Cut Ganoderma lucidum into small pieces, take 10 to 20 grams and clean them. Place them in a casserole, Ganoderma lucidum boiling water cannot be done in an iron pot. Add 5001000 grams of water, turn high heat to low heat, and boil for 20 minutes, then remove the medicinal solution. 
Generally, repeat the boiling two to three times. You can also boil water three times continuously, mix the medicine obtained three times and drink it as tea. You can drink 300 milliliters to 600 milliliters daily. Boiling Ganoderma lucidum with water can extract the active substances in Ganoderma lucidum to the maximum extent, so the best way to eat Ganoderma lucidum is to boil water and take it. Whether taken by patients or normal individuals, boiled water is recommended for use. Lingji soaking in water, cut lingji into small pieces, take 5 to 10 grams and wash thoroughly. Place them in a cup and soak in boiling water for 20 minutes before serving as tea. It can be brewed multiple times for a day. Ganoderma lucidum soaking in water is the most common way to eat, because soaking in water is convenient and fast to drink, suitable for normal people's health and wellness. Ganoderma lucidum bubble wine. Wash and dry the Ganoderma lucidum before bubble wine. 1 kg of Ganoderma lucidum can bubble about 10 kg of Baijiu, preferably pure grain wine of 50 degrees or more. It can be drunk after being sealed and soaked for 7 days. It will be better to soak it for a longer time. You can also add some rock sugar to improve the taste. Drink it in moderation. Don't be greedy. Ganoderma lucidum soup stew meat. Cut Ganoderma lucidum into small pieces, take about 20 grams and clean them. Put them into a pot and stew with other ingredients, then drink the soup and eat the meat. As for how to eat Ganoderma lucidum, I believe everyone has a better understanding. The tonifying and consolidating effects of Ganoderma lucidum come slowly and can only take it for a long time to take effect. Generally, after taking it continuously for a month, you will notice that your body has improved. Ganoderma lucidum is non-toxic and has no side effects, so you can take it for a long time with peace of mind.